Last news in Greece. Greek Orthodox Church rules yoga is incompatible with Christianity. Yoga has no place in the life of Christians. The governing body of the Greek Orthodox Church has ruled, quote, yoga is a fundamental chapter in Hindu religion. It is not any kind of physical exercise, the Holy Synod said in a statement on Wednesday. Not any kind? <laughs> it's, it's not just any kind. Okay. Um, it, it, it said it intervened after Greek media recommended yoga as a way to combat stress during coronavirus quarantine. The Orthodox Church is an influential organization in Greece, for those who don't know, and 90% of Greeks identify as Orthodox, according to a 2017 Pew Research report. Um, yoga is not an exercise, but an act of worship. Um, it, I, and this is an ongoing thing, so that's what they said even so far as uh, last September. Okay, so uh, to defend, I mean, I thought it would be interesting to have the Greek Orthodox Church because we hardly have this kind of news. So, uh, and to defend the church, actually, it, I mean, in Hinduism, yoga is more about spirituality and there is some kind of energy in your body and everything like the poses you do. So the, you can control the flow of energy. You can concentrate the energy on one part and pseudoscience like that. And the benefits from yoga, uh, like the, current benefits from yoga guys. So I found this like, uh, it's a neurologist, American neurologist, Steven Novella, a skeptic. And he said, what he said is, yoga fits into a more general phenomenon of marketing as a specific intervention as it has specific benefits, when in fact, it only has generic benefits. So what he wants to say is because, uh, I mean, there is a lack of studies uh, comparing yoga to other kinds of physical exercises. So people just think yoga has this kind of specific benefits while uh, actually the benefits from yoga is like any other benefit from any other physical exercise. I kind of li like this story because I think like the more things that our people like are considered incompatible with Christianity, the more people are going to be like, well, then fuck Christianity, I guess. I mean, Christianity is incompatible with everything that is good. Um, so I guess we could add yoga to that list. I mean, Christianity is incompatible with humanity, um, with gay rights, with women rights, with science, with skepticism, with, you know, so... Uh, this is a compliment to yoga, in my opinion, but go on, Rivka. Rivka, let me unmute her. I was okay, going to make two points. One, that this Greek Orthodox's um, uh, thought about or ruling about yoga being incompatible isn't uh, unique to them. I've experienced this quite often um, amongst people in the United States, um, children whose uh, parents don't want them to go to a yoga class. Um, people um, at the gym where I teach have even railed against them having it uh, because, you know, it's it's religious or other people. I mean, I've experienced this quite often and I've seen this kind of mindset often amongst particularly in the United States evangelical Christians. But and then there's also a whole other side of that is Christian yoga. You know, there's um, a number of people who do yoga from a Christian perspective. I've ran into them. And then um, as a yoga instructor, um, I think the thing about yoga, Shapam, is more of the philosophy, the idea of, you know, uh, quieting the mind. You know, how do you do that? You go from the gross, the body, to the subtle, the mind. You do that through the postures. It's just a mindfulness practice. So this imagination that a lot of Americans, particularly, or other people in the fitness community have, that somehow it's this miracle for everything, is also not true. You know, so I just right. kind of interesting how everybody wants it to be whatever they think it is good or bad in a lot of ways. Yeah, it, 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 there, yoga is so many different things to so many different people. There's and some of it is kind of 
cultish woo woo stuff. Oh yes. yeah, I, yeah. Sure. I, I wanted to. For sure. I wanted. I wanted to mention like yoga has de- uh, developed uh, to, uh, throughout the years. Like for the, I mean, it has been around for four thousand, five thousand years now, and it yoga is part of one of the six theistic schools of hinduism so like, mm-hmm. that's where yoga originated that's from so, not how west, I mean, west, for westerners it's yeah, just the, like, west, the west doesn't uh, view it like that but that's how it originated uh, and yeah. the theistic schools i mean they were all about spirituality god and like the energy the serious scientific stuff they didn't actually think about the physical exercise and yoga is like i mean anyone can just make any weird pose and call it yoga and if someone doesn't know all the poses they can oh yeah it could be yoga because there are like so I, many stuff which i used uh, to go to yoga classes and i enjoyed some of them and i was like oh this is nice i wanted especially because of all the girls that were there um yeah, but yeah but then i was like went to some other ones because i had to slightly positive experience with some of them but then i took another class and then this it was so weird she was like feel like chants and feel the energy coming from the ground from earth mm-hmm. and through your feet and to your body I'm like did i just join a cult like this is weird like i i just I, I just came here to stretch what is all this shit but it feels like like especially as an atheist anti-religious Activists doing all those things feel like very cringy and awkward to me. So I was like, yep, not this one. As a yoga instructor, I don't do those things. And they bother me when I go to classes where people are saying, you know, choose your intention. Imagine a light of love emanating to all, you know. I'm like, I didn't come here to go to church. Come on, let's get, you know, stop talking, you know. So yeah, I understand completely where you're coming from, Armin. Yeah. Anyways, uh, that was our last news, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Anybody has anything else to say? Any announcements? Anything interesting? Guys, subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description. Again, um, YouTube hates us. Facebook hates us. They don't want you to see our content. That's why... A lot of people don't get the notification and stuff, so we send them email. We email our new videos to you and some other cool stuff, which is only newsletter subscriber exclusive. Exclusive. So, if we ever get the platform and wiped out of the internet, they can't take our newsletter away from us, right? So that will be the way that we will be in touch with you directly. So, so subscribe to our newsletter. Um, do anybody and else join, wanna... join a new join our new Discord server? Oh yeah, we have a Discord server. Is that do we have a link in that? Oh shit. Sure. Yeah, I'm I'm getting the link. I'm getting the what, link. What what is it? I don't even know. What did you say, Shapam? You're a boomer. <laughs> so you don't need to. You no, don't need to No, I'm not a boomer. <laughs> I'm a Gen X. That's his uh Okay, so I, I posted the link in the comments, YouTube comments. Okay. Um, and you can highlight it. Okay, wait, I'm gonna add this to the description of the our videos going forward as well. Um so I will add this, um, and I will tell Mehra going to add it as well. So we have Discord server. Join our Discord server. If you're not a boomer, if you're a boomer, forget about it. You don't need to know. Um, um, but- <laughs> there's any news that you would like us to cover or would like to be brought to our attention, please go send it to me on my Twitter, at Skeptic Susanna. Um, I love your suggestions. And if you have more information about stuff we've talked about today also feel free to reach out to me i really like learning more about all this stuff so yeah okay guys all right uh see you again next week yeah bye bye Bye. Bye. don't forget to sim for all of us equally in the comment section equally not just susanna bye (laughs) oh my god (laughs) news thank you for joining us Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos. But nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. 
But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 